First tonight, we are at an inflection point on the debate about trans women in sports. Live pictures of the Capitol were just a few hours ago. Republicans pushed through the Save Women's Sports bill. The bill effectively prohibits biological men from competing in school-sponsored sports, both at the K-12 through and college level. The bill itself is dead on arrival. Everybody can agree on that. A Democratic Senate will never bring it up, and the White House is clear about how they feel on the issue. The administration is committed to protecting LGBTQI plus kids at school. Uh, they should be allowed to be who they are, who they want to be, and they should be able to speak out uh, against, and we should be able to speak out, and others should be able to speak out against hate and discrimination. Yet those who say it's unfair, a number of them are putting their jobs on the line to do it. At the usually woke network of ESPN, sports anchors are saying what the majority of Americans the vast majority of Americans already feel that banning trans women from competing in women's sports isn't about hate or discrimination of trans people. It's about fairness for the 99 plus percent of Americans who aren't trans. Sam Ponder, this would take away so many opportunities for biological women and girls in sports. It's a shame that we are needing to fight for the integrity of Title IX in 2023 and the reason it was needed in the first place. Hashtag save women in sports. Sage Steele, this is heartbreaking, maddening, and really difficult to watch. I keep thinking I'm going to wake up and be relieved that it was all just a ridiculous, comical, nonsensical dream. I stand with Riley Gain. Save women's sports. Title IX. With that, we bring in Johanna Mosca, formerly of the Obama administration, who is with us now. Johanna, I, I can't figure out the political calculation by Democrats of being for something and so vocal on something that the vast, vast majority of Americans disagree with. Yeah, Leland, it is going to be a great show tonight, and I love that you always bring all the different perspectives. Here's the deal. The number of people who are trans in this country is very small, and it's been a political boogeyman for a very long time. I mean, Phyllis Schlafly was bringing up trans bathrooms in the 70s, and we're still talking about this issue. And for me as a mother, I am as concerned about protecting my child, but I want to have some control over that. And honestly, there are creeps of all sorts of different backgrounds that I'm going to try to keep my well, kid no, 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 around. Okay, wait, hold on, hold on, wait. I, no, hold on, but, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, Johanna, 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 let's this talk isn't, about no, Johanna, yeah. Johanna, this isn't about bathrooms. This isn't about bathrooms. Specifically, this law is not about bathrooms. It is only about, it's about trans sports. women in women's sports. It's very simple. It's very, yes. it's very focused. And I, I can't find anybody who's willing to come on the show, and I think that's telling for Democrats, who is willing to say, I want my young daughter to compete against a biological man in 10th grade soccer. And I, I can't figure out I, why so many people are talking about hate and discrimination and yet won't defend what, the, what, what their position actually means. I want my son, and if I had a daughter, to compete with ev anyone and do the very best job he can do or she can do. This is a local issue. And I understand we try to blow <laughs> these things out of proportion, but it's really telling that the Republicans, who are a party of small government, are here in Washington making this a federal issue. And it's one of the things that we know that Republicans Whoa. agree on, and so they're going to try to push it. But it's a very small percentage of people that are actually affected, and that percentage of People is actually right. going through mental health issues. There's a whole host of issues. And so well, right. it is we, a we question all, we of can why all agree do we have that. to have this legislation? Yeah. Hey, look, right. So if, why do we have to have it? Why shouldn't we have it if it's people who you, you need, who say that they want protection from this very small community? I, I'm, I'm confused, though, about this, because Democrats have made so much of the past three or four years about protecting women and protecting women's rights. And yet when it comes to protecting women in sports and women who say they don't want to compete against men in sports, the Democratic Party is nowhere to be found. That was the point Nancy Mace made. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.